<laughs> this is really bad. Obviously, this is really bad. But let, let's keep them focused. Look, we, we just got to focus. We, we can still get out of this alive together, okay? Well, not all of us. Yeah, no shit. Dumbass. Shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. She's good. She's good. I know we don't trust her. But, well, he doesn't trust her, but we know because we've already seen. So we're going to let her in. I, maybe I should go suspicious just to see what he says. I, actually, you know what? We don't even want to risk it. Let's let her in. Okay. I'm going to open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Hopefully this is not a fail. She didn't look like she was going to kill us. I didn't find anything. Here we are again. Just you and me. I got nothing. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Did you look hard enough? These cards aren't just trinkets. You should know this by now. They, they can help you. I can help you. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. At him? Well, we shouldn't call out. We want to play dead, right? We got to play dead right here. Or maybe that's somebody else. Because it might have gotten eaten up. Max, right? That, that looks like somebody else, maybe. Ma'am, this is gonna get a little messy. The fuck? Will they let us see who it is? Oh, that that one transformed. Thank <laughs> you. 
What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. <laughs> oh, man. Why not? Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. This guy is crazy. <laughs> what? I mean, we might as well obey. Why not? Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm -hmm. You gotta believe they're broke. North kill. That sheriff's badge doesn't mean a lot. Okay, sheriff. Yeah. Okay, sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? We're going to catch him slipping. We're going to catch this man slipping. Please. You just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Lash out? Or... I think he's gonna let us out. Or maybe not. He's just switching the handcuffs. My bad. I made a new move. We'll wait for another... Oh, wait a second. Hey, you asshole! You wanna tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! He's alive! He's alive! How did he survive? What? Max, screaming at him is not gonna help. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I... I don't know. What if that's a fake Max? Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I have no idea. Hmm. He wanted me to confess. I was hoping you might know. He wanted me to confess. 
I was hoping you might know. Let, let's go suspicious. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Packet's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge, and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Just play along. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? He blew our cover. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. This is odd. There was an explosion in there, Your but turn. it's him. Let's and go. not... I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Get yeah. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. See, we don't have the upper hand right now. We need to wait for an opening. Hey! Stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. something in here you can use my strategy doesn't seem to be working Sis. not a chance I need some sort of lever looking like some El Chapo escape right here we gonna figure this out. What's under the bed, or what's up there? Are those keys? Oh no, it's not keys. That could work. It's a spoon, a bent spoon. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. That didn't really do much. This is crazy. We have no idea what's going on. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Why not? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? supposed to mean asshole hey you can't just leave us in here hey come back
Fuck! Son of a binky bucky. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. But what exactly is going on here? Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? Ha <laughs> ha! She's about to leave that man, he's got no future? Uh-oh. Uh, 
maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that. No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long-ass incarceration. Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? Man, that was weak. <laughs> okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. Exactly. What is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. <laughs> Are you out of your goddamn mind? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? He's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. 
the cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. Well, you keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Shh, keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. And if we do that, he's gonna die. She'll be alive, but he's gonna die. Reckless, we've gotta escape. What if we get on his good side? Let's see what they say. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. That's what I was trying to do. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. He kind of is. He's wasting time. I think we should try. Escape is the only way. I think we should try to let it fly, because if we can do that, we're both alive. We'll try that. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Win-win situation. Let's get it. So... All right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to be nice at the start. It wasn't working. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. We've been awful skeptical, really? Hmm. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. Wow. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... It's... Okay. Look. There's no reason why we can't change things. 
Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! He can't even stay in character for... We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Uh-oh. We got the switch. Five seconds. MJ for the win. MJ for the win! Oh! Let's get it! Durant! This all! Oh! That is the best game winner ever. <laughs> get in this poster, Durant. Ooh!